Hi guys, this is my daily practice routine, warm up exercise. I recommend to start with this, especially if you're an intermediate player, to just warm up your muscles, warm up your mind as well. You have to be focused and yeah, uh, don't be surprised if in the beginning you know you're missing something, but it's okay. You just try to be as smooth as possible and fluent as possible. So yeah, so I'm starting with this. Try to clear the table, um, red color. It don't have to be only on black or pink, you, you can do whatever you want. So I'm just doing it like this, okay? So, start with the last red, not here. If you want to make your practice as quick as possible, I guess it's very difficult for a ball like this to make position for the black, let's say, yeah? Straight red, so it's okay. Again, two back shots. I feel that my timing at this particular moment is quite nice. Consistent, you know. I feel that in that way I can be a little more consistent. So this is a very good way to hit the shot and just try to understand why you missed the shot, you know. So it's nothing wrong to do mistakes. So like occasionally everybody does a mistake. It's a simple routine. But the shots which you miss on the competitions are sometimes uh, a very simple shot. So you have to be mindful about that, you know. So here, uh, I, I made a position for the pink or for the blue. You know? So I would make for the pink because it's the most easy way to miss me. And again, nice and smooth. You know, you don't want to be jerky with your reaction. You 
I play a little bit across the ball, so you know my body wasn't that clean. So I will try to be smoother. You know. So again, try to shot it on the pin, or I can just still do roll in for the blue. I will make a stand. Just do a cubo stand. Like that. And I didn't try to apply lots of backspin. I just tried to apply a little bit stand. Because in that case, I play with the face and still make a position. So this is a good thing. Again, stand shot with the ball to red. Power stand shot. Okay, so make good position for the red, and again, I can go for the black and for the pink. Two way positional shot, pink or red, yeah, you know? So again, stand shot, nice and smooth. Okay, I made a decent position for the black. Yeah, I can play with the top spin. Touch of left hand side, two cushions, and position for the red. Close to the pin, uh, two ball. Touch of left. And the cubo travel, nice and smooth, you know? Okay, again, I'm prime position. small backswing because in that way I can feel the shot better and it's a simple shot because I, didn't, I don't have to do anything uh, a lot with my cue action so just try to make decisions as simple as possible doesn't matter that it's a simple routine but still in, in a nice situation you have to be as simple Lots of follow through, nice and for long backswing, delivery. In this case, I can achieve very good results. Shot. Doesn't matter, easy shot, medium or uh, difficult. You still need to be technically sound. Right, here I can simply roll in the shot or I can make a soft two back shot to make here. For me, in my opinion, you need to be more positive, so it's better to make position here. After the red, so I, I will play the position with the red here over there. Okay, nice angle for the red. Now I can play special for the pink, leave myself a little bit lower, and then I get position for the red over there. Stand shot. Good timing, good position. And now you will make no cushion. Position for the red over there. Line up yourself. Look the object ball. Approach. And nice. Okay. I didn't play that 
exercise. I hit it a little bit too thick, but still, you know, my keyboard speed was good enough, and I have easy position for the red and make uh, for the colors. I don't want to play too much power because I don't want to reach the table like this. But I want to have a half angle so I could play cushions and then I can make position for the green again. So here I can go play uh, top spin back shot. Position over there. too slow on that shot it's okay but I still have a shot so this is even I didn't play that shot well I still have a position and uh, eight times of the ten I will put this ball even on the severe pressure so I just have to be nice and smooth backswing a little bit shorter stroke and then I will be again on the prime position stay still, I put the ball on the prime position and I now I have to think how to make a good angle for the brown so I could use my cushion and make position for the blue. A very common position in right. Good. Nice angle for the brown. Now some of you use it without cushion but it's too risky. Better to use a cushion shot because in that case you can control speed much better, much more efficient. So use that. Hopefully make position for the pink, which is a little bit higher, and then I can easily make position for the black. Or I can use the cushion, play with more pace, and still make position for the blue. So this, if you play on the faster table, I recommend to play a cushion bounce. If you play on the slower table, then you can be a little bit more conservative. I prefer to be more positive, so I will use a cushion bounce and play with more pace. So. For me, the most important thing is an angle. I want to leave myself around this area. I was a little bit too pacey, but it's okay. I still want the ball in most cases. cases I will have a decent angle and here for the finish I just have to put the black and that's it you know nice align your body well approach stay still and that's it don't try to play with power if you're clearing up just try to be as smooth as possible because under pressure people tend to play with too much power okay guys so this uh, this video was for the whatsapp group special for you i wanted to share special insights on how i do simple routine like lineup uh, let me know what do you think about uh, other videos what, what you would like to see next you know because i want to help you to be better players and hopefully if somebody wants my help personally i can help achieve good results so that's it take care